smooth, creamy, and chocolatey. Chocolate mousse is a staple in five-star dining. With its rich taste and elegant presentation, one must head to a fancy restaurant to try this five-star culinary confection. Or you can try making this stuff at home. Guys, you're gonna love this recipe. Not only is it delicious, it only has two ingredients. Technically three, but we'll get to that in a minute. This dish is so simple, even a complete novice can master it. Once you serve it to your friends and family, they'll be impressed that you can pull off such culinary magic. Then you'll say, of course, I had the gift in me all along. Then, all go to your head. You boast to everyone you know, both in real life and on the internet, about how you're such a great culinary master. Your ego will get a nice boost. But then, you begin to realize you boasted your way into a corner. Unable to escape, your friends and family will come over again, and you'll try to cook them a nice fancy dinner. But when you serve the dinner, they'll be extremely disappointed, and they'll be all like, Hey, I thought you were the culinary wizard. What happened to you, man? You'll drown in a pool of your own embarrassment in tears as you try to figure out what went wrong. The night ends in disaster. You're dead to your family. You disappointed your friends and you've disappointed yourself with your final bit of energy. You go under the bed, you find a box, you open up the box, there is your 9mm handgun. You serve this to your friends and family, and they'll be impressed. So, let's get started. First, grab yourself a metal bowl like this, and stick it in the freezer. Yeah, I know that sounds somewhat insane, but we're gonna be whipping some cream in here. Oh wait, we're gonna be making white fluffy cream. Ugh, we're gonna make whipped cream. Ugh. We're gonna be incorporating air into milk with high fat. Ugh. We're gonna be making delicious white fluffy stuff. <sighs> Get your immature giggling out of the way. You done? Good. So yeah, we're gonna be making some whipped cream. And you need the bowl to be really cold because if it's warm, the whipped cream will deflate. You don't want that. For this recipe, grab yourself a 12 ounce bag of milk chocolate chip. Oh, and um, you really want to blow mines, splurge a little bit, and get some premium chocolate. Next, grab yourself a large pot, fill it up with an inch of water, turn the heat to high, bring it to a boil, slap on a large metal bowl like this. Dump the bag of chocolate chips in here and stir it constantly to make sure it doesn't burn. We want to fully melt the chips. With the third ingredient I mentioned earlier, a little bit of vegetable oil. We're going to be mixing this with cream, so... We want it to be a bit on the thin side, so add about a teaspoon, two tops of oil. Stir it to come up. Well, all right, we got the oil incorporated. Take, turn this off and take it off the heat. Retrieve your ice cold bowl from the freezer. Add one and a half to two cups of heavy whipping cream. Oh, and scratch that. There's actually gonna be four ingredients. Half a teaspoon of vanilla. Grab yourself a hand mixer. Mix until stiff peaks form. All right, these are stiff peaks. If I tap the mixer, they stay still. This is what you want. Next, grab yourself a clean silicone spatula and divide the cream into three equal parts, like so. We're doing this because we want to incorporate this into this bit by bit. For the first batch of cream, we just want to mix it in with a whisk, like this. Now here's where things get a little tricky. For our second and final batches, 
We want to fold the cream into the chocolate. Here's how you do it. Cut down the middle, scoop under the chocolate, and fold it over, like this. Turn the bowl 90 degrees, fold, cut down, fold over, cut down, fold over. Keep doing it until you have most of the cream incorporated. All right, but like I said, mostly combined. We don't want to overwork this, otherwise it'll deflate. That said, grab the final batch of cream. And again, fold it into the chocolate. You're gonna get a few streaks of white whipped cream. Don't freak out. Remember, if we overwork this, the mousse is going to deflate. Now we need to pick a perfect serving vessel. Now you can choose just a simple bowl, or if you really want to impress your friends, serve it in something like a wine glass. Now it really depends on what kind of wine glass you plan on using, but if you're using something like this size, fill it up halfway. Now using a big spoon like this, just scoop the mousse into the wine glass. Just let gravity do the work. Don't dollop it in, otherwise you'll deflate the mousse. Shake the wine glass to even it out. Cover it in saran wrap. Stash it away in the fridge. Leave it in there for at least two hours. Once the two hours are up, take it out of the fridge. And finally, Add a blueberry for garnish. Voila! You can have a gorgeous, fancy restaurant style dessert without the expensive price tag or dim lighting or having to overpay for valet service only to find out that your car has a new dent in it and reeks of weed. This has been Chase Cut and Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and meaning at this time.